My name is Bill Ayers. I'm a retired professor from the University of Illinois Chicago. I began teaching in 1965 in a small freedom school affiliated with the Civil Rights Movement. And I was in my first classroom for about 15 minutes when a five-year-old kid said to me, why does the ball bounce? And I remember thinking, oh my God, I've been a teacher for 15 minutes and I can't even answer the simplest question. And by the end of that morning, the kids knew that I didn't know why the ball bounced, I didn't know why the sky was blue. I, in fact, my, the, the reputation of my ignorance spread in all directions. Luckily, I did know why the floor was sticky when apple juice spilled, so I felt like I knew something. But this created a crisis for me as a teacher because one thinks that teaching is telling people things, and I didn't know things to tell people. That crisis has kind of continued to this day, but it took me two or three years to get my feet under me as a teacher. But I discovered something I think that is central to good teaching, and that is that teaching is not telling. Teaching is not standing at the lectern, instructing people in the facts. The facts are available to everybody. What good teaching really is, is going on a journey with your students of discovery and surprise. And how you look at your students matters the most. If you see your students as a collection of deficits or people in need of, of being filled up with information, that creates a whole different way of teaching. For me, I began to see my students as unruly sparks of meaning-making energy on a voyage, and I wanted to join that voyage. So I realized that my job wasn't so much to tell people things, it was to unlock the wisdom in the room. And I got a great jolt of that when our first child was born. We were living in a fifth floor walk up um, 40 some years ago, and we had a home birth. And we, our first child was a 36 hour labor. And when he emerged um, into the world and the midwife wrapped him up and swaddled him and put him on his mother's breast, I realized that this kid was five minutes old and already he was entering a dialogue with his mother. That is, he knew things she didn't know. She knew a lot. She was part of the La Leche League. She consulted her sister and her midwife. But this five-year-old had, a, a five-minute-old had agency, had something going on, and they were building a dialogue. They were building a relationship. If a kid knows to be able to say, not this way, that way, this is too much, this is not enough. At five minutes old, why do we act like a five-year-old is an empty slate, or a 15-year-old, or a 25-year-old? That changed my teaching. Now I know, and I think it's central, that the, the real challenge of teaching is seeing your students as three-dimensional beings just like yourselves, with minds, bodies, spirits, intelligence, and experience that has to be taken into account. That means that you have to unlock the wisdom in the room. It means you have to nourish the agency that every kid brings to the classroom.